The race for the low-end market continues with NVIDIA taking the first shot and releasing the RTX 4060 Ti. It's a smaller, cooler, and more cut down entry into the NVIDIA 4000 lineup. It packs eight gigabytes of memory and a lower price tag. With shoppers in this price range expecting value, we'll check to see if NVIDIA delivers and whether or not the partner cards are any better than the Founders Edition. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the system specs. We are testing with a Core i9-13900K, which should minimize any potential bottlenecks, as well as testing on Windows 11 with the latest driver provided by NVIDIA. Moving over into the 1080p results, and quick note on our graph, we are basing everything around the reference 4060 Ti Founders Edition. So that will be represented at 100%, and anything above that will be faster, and anything below that number will be a bit slower. And we can see that all the 4060 Ti models are pretty close together. The MSI RTX 4060 Ti Gaming X Trio leads the pack uh, at 2% faster than the Founders Edition model, just trailing the 3070 Ti. And on the other hand, we have the PNY RTX 4060 Ti, which comes in at 2% slower than the Founders Edition and just a bit faster than the RX 6700 XT. This does paint a picture of what kind of performance you can expect with this card. It being pretty much exactly the same as a reference RTX 3070, as well as matching the few generations old now RTX 2080 Ti. The next model up offered by NVIDIA, the RTX 4070, is 28% faster. And moving over into the 1440p results, and we can see that the 4060 Ti cards are now even closer together. All the cards are a little bit faster than the RX 6700 XT, but now all cards are a little bit slower than the RTX 3070 and 2080 Ti. That's still not a bad performance bracket to be in, but it's a little concerning to see the RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti pulling away. Looking at the minimum frame times doesn't change the picture all that much, since the 3070 is still faster and the 6700 XT is still a bit slower. Enabling ray tracing does help the performance a little bit, meaning the 4060 Ti's are now a little bit faster than the outgoing 2080 Ti, but they're still trailing the RTX 3070 and RX 6800 XT. It is worth noting that the 4060 Ti does support DLSS 3, which none of the older Nvidia cards or AMD cards support, so that could help in some situations. The Nvidia RTX 4060 Ti is not designed to be a 4K card, and you can kind of see it when you look at the performance numbers. It now more closely resembles an RTX 3060 Ti than the RTX 3070. And the also not a 4K card RTX 4070 is 36% faster. That's not to say that you can't game at 4K, especially if you're willing to dial down the settings. Since in our tests, we were averaging right around 50 to 55 FPS. So a little under if you're looking for 60 FPS, but a lot under if you're looking for something higher. While the performance of the 4060 Ti might be very similar to the RTX 3070, the power consumption definitely is not. All the 4060 Ti models we tested were right around the 160 watt mark, which is about 70 watts less than the RTX 3070, or just about 30% less. If you are a gamer who plays mostly at a lock 60 FPS though, the savings will not be as much. The RTX 4060 Ti does come in around 60 to 65 watts while gaming, whereas the RTX 3070 comes in just under 80 watts, so not really much of a savings there. Though that still does put the RTX 4060 Ti in a pretty good spot in terms of energy efficiency, pretty much matching all the new generation cards from AMD and Nvidia, but when compared to those cards, it doesn't really stand out. If you've gotten this far in the video and you are cross shopping all the 4060 Ti models, you can kind of see that the performance between all of them is roughly the same, and that pretty much holds true while overclocking. 
while there is some silicon lottery here so your mileage may vary basically all the cards that are slightly overclocked out of the box overclock a little worse than the cards that aren't overclocked out of the box meaning that once overclocked they all perform just about the same pretty much within a frame moving over to fan noise and we can see that the msi rtx 4060 ti gaming x trio is the quietest out of this bunch, being a little quieter than the PNY RTX 4060 Ti Accelerate, though it should be noted that all these cards are still considered quiet, with the one exception perhaps being the Pollet RTX 4060 Ti Dual, which is the loudest card out of the bunch by far, though even still at 36 decibels, it's not that loud. It's worth noting that the fan curve does have a lot to do with fan noise, so if we normalize at 35 decibels and at power limits of 160 watts, we actually can see the Pollet is not the worst in terms of cooler performance. That award goes to the PNY RTX 4060 Ti, the non-accelerate version, coming in at 71.4 degrees C, and the MSI RTX 3060 Ti Gaming X Trio being the best at 51.2 degrees C, which is pretty impressive. That impressive cooler though does come at a cost, and the MSI RTX 4060 Ti Gaming X Trio is the most expensive of the 4060 Ti's, coming in at $460. This does mean that it actually is the same value as the RTX 4070, so I mean not that bad, but still not all that great. The best value card is the RTX 4070 Ti Founders Edition, with all the other cards coming somewhere in between. NVIDIA does seem to have priced the 4060 Ti roughly in line with all of their other contemporary cards, as well as the contemporary competition, which does mean it's not that great of a value compared to older cards. At $400, it's slightly worse value than the RTX 2080 Ti, which is several years old at this point. If priced at $375, it would be roughly in line with the RTX 3070 Ti, which is at $420. At $350, it would be roughly in line with the AMD RX 6700 XT, which is just about the same speed in a lot of these cases. And only at $325 are we comparable to the value you get by getting an RTX 3070 at $350. Especially since both of these cards have the exact same amount of VRAM at 8GB, there is little reason to look at the 4060 Ti instead of the RTX 3070, unless you can get the 4060 Ti for at most $325. At its current price of $400, I'd imagine Nvidia is just hoping the RTX 3070 goes out of stock.